Hello owners, welcome to episode 44 of Michael Costa Racing TV. Uh, in this episode, we've got the fortnight that has been, a trial review. We've got a few trialers that trialed at the Gold Coast this week. A few of them are going to head off to the races uh, this weekend or into next Wednesday. Up and coming runners, our Woodford Reserve Owner of the Week and also our Track Worker of the Week. Okay, the fortnight that has been, we go back to the 12th of September and we had uh, Ace Play, that's where he is. Ace Play at the Gold Coast in the 900 meter race. We've said before that we've never won a 900 meter race and uh, the goal was to basically have a second troll but pick up a bit of prize money. He ran well, third of 11, picks up a couple of thousand there. Uh, they ran home in 32.73, that's just a bit too nippy for him. Uh, so I was happy with his run, picks up a check and we'll look for a little bit further for him in the coming weeks. Uh, we then had at Doomburn, uh, Supergiant, Palaszczuk and Hearts Lifted. We kicked off uh, with Hearts Lifted, who was the roughie in the field. Uh, she ended up getting back, 20 to 1 mind you. And uh, coming around the home turn, uh, the favourite just never pulled her into the race. She then got a bump around the home turn and just took a little bit of momentum away from her. And uh, then she stormed home and uh, that photo finish, it really looked like it went away, but unfortunately it didn't. So that was unlucky, but a nice, uh, nice little return from her after having a couple of weeks between runs. Uh, we then had Palaszczuk. She was uh, stepping up to the 1350, probably just a little bit still soft in condition and coming coming together in the coat. Uh, she worked into the race, but probably got into the race a little bit too soon. Green down the straight and just got a little bit of stitch late, but that race was a very good overall time race. I think that's gonna be a nice little form race as, as well. And uh, there'll be plenty of winners to come out of it, but a nice run from her, but she's just still putting it together. She's running at Ipswich today. We'll talk about her later. And then finally, Supergiant, we thought, uh, we thought that he needed the run first up. Second up, stepping up to a mile was still gonna be a little bit of a test. But uh, look, he still just hit a little bit of a flat spot over the 100 meters and just gassed out. So we left our, left the races scratching our heads a little bit, but uh, knew he had some fitness improvement because he had a big blow again. But subsequently, he did pull up, uh, having a little bit of a corn in his uh, offside front foot, which would have been consistent with a run about three or four weeks ago, which was off the back of that Eagle Farm run. So we've uh, changed his shoeing a little bit around there to provide a bit more protection. Uh, we poulticed the foot. We look like we've got the bruising out and uh, he's worked well as well this week. Uh, we then headed off to the Sunshine Coast on Sunday with two runners. Uh, we kicked off with Stoked in a small field, very confident with her. They ended up backing Jinx and Drinks and we got the drift out to $3, which was beautiful. Uh, Tegan rode a beautiful race, just let her uh, find her feet. They gave her the lead and it was just a track gallop and uh, she kicked away. So it was good for her to put two wins together. Uh, she's now had two wins in a second since uh, coming, coming north. Uh, we then had Willow Tito and uh, look, it was the ride that won the race. Uh, James Orman rode her, rode her a treat and and uh, she's won again. We've absolutely placed her to a T, uh, this, this mare. She's uh, now won a couple of three races this prep and we just continue to place her well. So kudos to my racing manager, Michael Morrison. Uh, finally, we had Entitlement head down to Grafton. He's a horse which we said has been a little bit thick in the wind. Uh, instructions were just to ride him where he's comfortable, but uh, he was up there on the bunny again, just compounded late. Uh, he pulled up a little bit tired after the run, and uh, we're just doing a little bit of work on him, seeing if we can get him cherry ripe. But uh, the important thing for him is just to be ridden where he's comfortable so he can finish off and get as much oxygen into the lungs. So another couple of winners and uh, a nice little week ahead coming up. Trials Monday at the Gold Coast, we had Casarina Start, De Facto, Hembro, Casa Tranquilla, Miss Gem, Perfect Deal, Olympic Class, Money Shot, Hoodoo Voodoo, and Kids at Play. So a quick little rundown. Casarina Star was out there just to have a nice, easy first trial. Did just that in a hot trial. Uh, De Facto, he was a nice trial. Very happy with him. He's heading the races on Saturday. He, uh, he got beaten on the line by a, a group horse. Hembro was in the same trial. She's a maidener, made good ground, still a little bit underdone, and she's definitely one to follow. Uh, Casa Tranquilla, she's, uh, she trialed very well. She's come on nicely. She's still 
needs to clean up in the coat, but she'll either run Saturday or Wednesday. Miss Gem, nice quiet one out the back. She's uh, she's a stayer, so we just took care of her first trial. Perfect deal, nice trial. Good to see her bounce back. She's probably dowed off a little bit, so look for her second, third up, but she'll most likely run Sunday at the Sunshine Coast. Olympic class money shot hoodoo voodoo, all uh, all staying sort of types. Uh, nice enough trials from from all three. Uh, they'll trial again in a couple of weeks' time. Kids at play. He pulled up. Um, was only an ordinary trial. We got him scoped, and he just had a bit of mucus. So we'll be looking to send him to the paddock for a few weeks. So follow out of there straight off the bat. De facto Hembro and probably Casa. Okay, up and coming runners today. We've got Ipswich. Uh, this this. Film won't be out by the time uh, she runs today, but the beauty of doing it, I can absolutely declare her now, and if she doesn't win, we can edit that out, which is good, but very happy with her. We had a duel accepted. She was in to run Wednesday at Eagle Farm, and uh, we knew it was going to end up being a small field, but the reason why I pulled her out is that she's always just been this preparation, just to run behind in, in hitting a peak, and I just didn't want to send her to a mile race, even though I thought they'd, they'd run it quite slow like they did yesterday. And the other reason is uh, just the Eagle Farm, a couple of runners we've had there just recently have just pulled up with a few little bruises in their feet. So just because she's hitting a peak, I didn't want to run the risk of, of that happening and just the mile. So we've uh, we've done the opposite of what we normally do. We've probably gone to the slightly harder race at Ipswich, which isn't one of our, uh, our favorite tracks, but look, it looks a very, very suitable race. There is a couple of last start winners in there. But uh, I've, I've got a lot of time for this filly. She's probably, she is going to be a nicer filly next time around, but uh, I think on her work she should, be, uh, she should be very hard to beat today. Short of 300 to go, Palaszczuk is asked to go after Boombrastic. They reach the 200, Palaszczuk under pressure, put ahead in front, Boombrastic is battling back, Palaszczuk just in front, Boombrastic coming again on the inside, Palaszczuk in front and just one. Uh, up and coming runners for Saturday, we head to Toowoomba, uh, another track which we've had a little bit of joy at, but um, prefer to sort of stick at the Gold Coast or Doombin or something like that. But we head up there with Super Giant. He's worked really well this week. Probably think where he's at track work wise, he's still 10 to 15 percent behind of when he was at his peak last preparation. But we're happy enough to head off to the races today. It looks a suit uh, on Saturday. Looks a suitable race. Prioritise is always hard to beat. Uh, Junction, uh, the curry runner at Toowoomba, always going to be hard to beat as well. But it uh, looks, a, looks a very suitable race for him. And if he can bounce back and uh, live up to his track work, he should be, uh, should be very competitive there on Saturday. Uh, we then have Miss Cabaret. She's, uh, she's gone to the Toowoomba Guineas. Look, another $100,000 race uh, looks winnable again. She does have to improve. Uh, there's a couple of uh, the actuaries already a listed winner. It's in there. Uh, Magic Conqueror, Dr. Costello, Calm Seeker, all, all very, uh, very sort of nice horses. So she's going to have to improve. 21 days between runs, a little bit of concern. And uh, we had to give her a quiet week after the last uh, after our last win because she did pull up with a black eye. But her work this week was very strong and uh, she doesn't look like she's taken a backward step. So she uh, she should be in the mix. Can't uh, can't be tipping her because it is a competitive race, but we're just hopeful that she can pick up uh, some more prize money and a, and a guineas win, which would be great. Uh, also on the day, we'll have accepted. Acceptances aren't out yet. De facto, uh, Casa and on Saturday at the Gold Coast and perfect deal at the Sunshine Coast. I think the Gold Coast runners uh, looking at nominations, if they can draw good gates, should be competitive. Uh, perfect deal, more than likely need the first up run there at the Sunshine Coast over 1300. Be looking for her once she gets over a mile. Next Wednesday, we'll, we might have a day. Uh, we'll have got Hearts Lifted, Malahide, New Horse, Massive Penko, and, uh, and Money Shot all running. Uh, nominations will come out later and we'll do an update on, on them. So hopefully, uh, if we can draw some good gates, should be some, should be some winners coming out of that lot. Okay, track worker of the week. Uh, gonna go to the trials, and it was very close to doing Casa Tranquilia, but I've decided to go with Hembro. I think for a maiden horse, this, uh, this filly is, is really gonna progress through her grades. Uh, there was a second trial yesterday, but she on, on Monday, but she was still slightly underdone. So we'll just take a few weeks with her just to get her where we want her to be, really come on the coat and uh, look for her when she starts first up. Because I think if we place her right, she should be just winning. Uh, I've got a lot of time for that filly. So that's the uh, track worker of the week from the trials, Hembro. 
Okay, our Woodford reserve owner of the week goes to Tom Ames, the owner of Willow Tiddo. Now, uh, Tom gave us this uh, this mare from David Van Dyke, who's obviously no slouch, probably got a strike rate that he's through the roof, got good horses, but a, a, a very good trainer. And uh, she's come into the barn, and he's been just a pleasure to train for. He's let us place the absolute hell out of this mare. We've just... We've nominated her a few places, we've accepted, we've really picked the eyes out of the races and uh, the placement's been the, been the real key. She's had a few luckless rides this prep as well, but uh, when we've, uh, we've placed her right and we've gotten good rides, she's, she's got the money. So thanks Tom for being such a pleasure to train for. Glad we're having a, a bit of fun with the mare and uh, hopefully we can get it, to, get it to continue and she can achieve a few more goals as well. There'll be a bod bottle of Woodford Reserve and uh, Michael Costa Racing Polo on its way all the way down to Casino. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. A nice little sharp, short episode. As I always say, hopefully we can uh, get a few more runners happening and uh, more horses in the barn. We'll really look forward to trying to punch this show out every week if we can get a bit more content. Uh, what's coming up? We've got the English Digital um, catalogue coming out, so we'll pick our eyes through there for a few more tribe ones because they've been popular. And uh, we've got the Breeze Ups all, all happening in the next uh, next month or so, so we'll have a, have a good look through there as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be in touch uh, next episode, and stay safe.